Good morning, my app, a are back. Here's the plan, pretty major catch up. Today is build day 383. It's 11 days since we last published any videos. So let's go and have a look and see what's been happening over that almost two weeks. We still have a little tiny bit under two weeks to go before two of the kids come home and we wanna be in the house. Are we going to make it? You tell me. At the end of the video, put a comment in. Let me know. Do you think we can be in there in that time frame? What could possibly go wrong? We'll start at the front, coming in the front door. And we now have a front door. Come with me. It is clearly still not finished, but it's in, it's ready to be finished. It's gonna be a beast. If you've been following us before, this is not gonna look new to you. This is just inside the front door, on the left, the living room. Still a little bit of a storage area, but here, not a lot to do, and that's the theme throughout the house. Some final painting, still a little bit of electrical connections. That's about it down here, just around the corner. Into the main downstairs hallway, and on the right, the dining room. We had to take the table out of storage to give it a little bit of TLC. So it's been placed in here for now. Well, this will be its final resting place, but it will have to come out while they again do the little bits of finishing that are required in here, as everywhere else. Not a great deal more to do. Mostly in the house now, it's finishing off on painting and heading through into the main kitchen. starting to look like a finished kitchen. Cabinetry mostly finished, there's some touching up still to be done. But in general, I've got it almost to a finished state, a little bit to be done down here where a second oven will sit. And now, our kitchen island has its breakfast bar. Still some work to be done on here, where at the bottom of it, covering up the concrete, they just use some regular plywood, but that will get finished to give an appearance that as closely as possible matches the countertop. And at the back of the kitchen, the pantry, ready to go, with the exception of a few more outlet covers. One thing we're still missing around the house is uh, ethernet covers, uh, connections, so we can plug in all the ethernet that we have. 
Apart from that, in here, pretty much done. Heading out of the kitchen over to the north side. This is the area for laundry, for laundry drying. And most likely, just here is where we'll put uh, any required water purification equipment. Heading back inside just here into the laundry room. So this is where the uh, washing machine and dryer will come in here. Still some work clearly to be done on the storage area. This room along with the helper's room downstairs probably the two rooms with one major exception that need the most work. Coming from the main kitchen towards the dirty kitchen, we'll do a quick diversion first into the helper's room. Still being used for storage. So helper's bedroom and just around the corner, the helper's bathroom. A bit messy, still the case in a lot of places, but close to being done. And then in, into what we're calling the dirty kitchen. A little less like most traditional dirty kitchens because it's inside. So that's kitchen number two really. Cabinets almost all finished. A little bit of work still to be done on edgings. Then over there is where the cooker will go. And on this side there'll be a refrigerator. Not sure if there'll be anything else just here. And we may try and put a kitchen island in here. We bought one with us from Hong Kong. I'm not sure if it's gonna make this room too crowded, but we'll give it a try and see how it feels. The rest of this room, again, close to finished. Heading out of the dirty kitchen. Ahead of us is the gym and spa. Before we get to that point, just a quick look into what we've called the sunroom. So this is the room that we wanted to be, as uh, have a feeling of, a, of being inside outside as closely as possible. So if I step back a little bit, we wanted these sliding doors to be as large as possible so we can have that sense of being open to the outside elements a little bit from sitting inside the sunroom. Heading into the gym, temporarily, the headboard for the bed that we brought with us from Hong Kong for the master bedroom, along with a whole host of mattresses for various beds, which should be getting delivered fairly soon. Then we move down into the spa area. Sounds a bit grand. And over here, the jacuzzi. It'll probably take a week or so to fill up when we want to use it, but never mind. And just for convenience, another small bathroom. Sorry, rather dark in here. Hopefully the camera adjusts. Small bathroom here with a shower, toilet and wash basin. And here's the room that is not going to be finished when we move in. The home theatre room. Very little has actually been finished in here. At the back of the room is where all of the electrical connections come in and then get distributed around the house. But inside this room, at the moment, all we've got is the riser, the platform, so that we can have two sets of seats. Uh, this one elevated, as it would be in any cinema. We have a little bit of the insulation, the rock wall on the walls but only a small amount of the walls have been covered and we still have yet to have the speaker wires connected or installed. And over there is where the screen eventually one day will be. Time to head upstairs and the stairs themselves still got quite a bit of finishing left to be done. You'll see in a moment that the upper side of the stairs has been finished to a greater degree but still quite a bit of work to be done just here. Heading up from the small platform where the stairs take a turn, you'll see the surface finish on those steps. That's the colour they will end up being. They're not quite finished yet, 
And obviously, we still don't have the glass banisters going up the stairs. I'm not sure yet when the glass is going to be delivered and installed. From the top of the stairs, looking along the corridor, where all of the bedrooms are located, with the exception of the master, which is round, tucked away to our right. That's where we'll go first. Before we head into the master bedroom, this is looking out over the front door and the big window, and across the peacock feather type lighting that we've got just there, the chandelier. Speaking of chandeliers, this is the chandelier above the stairs, which after quite a lot of adjustment, this is the setup that we like. Uh, the heights of each of those lights gives it quite a nice feeling, I think, now of top to bottom depth. So, into the master bedroom. Still a mess of wiring uh, over here where Ethernet and all the CCTV connections come in. The cabinets, which we have in every room, are now close to being finished for the outside surfaces. There will be doors on the front of these cabinets though. We'll come back to the balcony in just a second. The bed will be over here. And on this side, we'll have a desk so I can do a little bit of work in here. And heading from the bedroom into the walk-in closet where we no longer have just plain white shelves and cabinets. Again, we've got this manually created grain appearance which they're doing on a lot of these cabinets and a lot of the other areas around the room, a lot of the doors around the house have got a similar grain appearance. So cabinets in here, as in all the rooms now, are all in. It's just a matter of being finished, which still has quite a bit of work to do. And we've got all of this space, again, still to be finished off with final paint and from the walk-in closet into the bathroom. No shower glass yet, that's true in all the rooms, but at this end, the shower. Double wash basin cabinet, Wabaka. And around on this side, we have toilets. So, once again, still some electrical work to be done. Most of the other surfaces in this room are finished. Still some final paint to be done on the ceiling. Going from the master bedroom out onto the balcony. Where the view at the moment is mostly this big mango tree. But we will be cutting that back a little bit to reveal a little bit more of the view of Mount Riot over there. On this side, looking across into the subdivision of Amelia Homes. And if you haven't taken two or three already, take another dizzy pill. Back round this way. Over the front door, towards the carport. And on the other side, uh, rice fields. But we do think that that is going to get developed. And it looks like for the first time, they're starting to do a little bit of development work over at the front of that property into the first of the other bedrooms. This is Alex's room. Done, generally speaking, in a great in variations on grey. As in all the rooms, we've got this feature wall, which they've done in mostly the same colour in most of the rooms, because that fits in the master bedroom. It was done in a brown colour, because that's more appropriate for the colouring in that room. And round into the walk-in closet for Alex's room. Where, as everywhere else, the cabinets are in. Still quite a little bit more of finishing on the surfaces of these cabinets. And into the bathroom. Shower at this end. Wash basin with cabinet and toilet at this end. 
on the opposite side of the corridor into Aldrian's room. There is still one development to be done in here where this part of this wall will be painted as a feature wall. Slightly different, so it'll just stand out a little bit. This is one of the TV cabinets with the doors already attached and painted. And into the walk-in closet of this room. The cabinets pretty much finished, including painting. What is missing is there will be some doors across at least part of these cabinets. And round to the right into the bathroom for this bedroom suite. Again, shower, toilet, Wabaka. So heading into Jack's bedroom. In my opinion, I think he's got the pick of the bunch. Mainly because of this. Not a bad view to wake up to and come and sit out here with a fruit juice or a coffee. Again, looking over rice fields on this side. But the biggest winner of this view is the pool. And across to the gazebo and over to the back of the property. And all the way around. Again, back to the Amelia Homes subdivision. The walk-in closet for Jack's room. Painting, finishing. I think that's almost done. Very, very little needed here, if anything. Maybe a little bit more touch-up. And then round into the bathroom. Still waiting for a door to be attached with the uh, pull-out drawer for the wash basin cabinet. In fact, it's right here, ready to go. But the rest of the room, again, with the exception of maybe a little bit of touch-up paint on the ceiling, is done. And coming out of Jack's room, into Sabrina's room. The one bedroom that doesn't have a walk-in closet. So instead of that, we've got this set of cabinets here. Plus, a little vanity area with additional storage. And heading out onto really quite a small balcony, but big enough for a little table and a chair with a view out towards the east. So we'll get the sun coming up from that direction in the morning. And over here, Looking over the top of the carport and storage room, where the solar equipment is all installed. And finally, into Sabrina's bathroom, a much lighter colour scheme in here. All of the rooms, the bathrooms and bedrooms, the colour schemes in general were chosen by the kids. I do like this one, I think it looks very light and airy. Here is the carport that we just saw. So, space for three cars, and on the left-hand end, a storage area. And inside there, we have the solar inverters and batteries. And we'll see what else we need to put in there at some point. This carport is a carport, it's not a garage. A garage. It will not have doors on it. Uh, we didn't see the need for that, and just saving a little bit of money by doing it this way. At the back of the house, the swimming pool with at the right over in the corner there shower toilet pump room and the gazebo on this side this area is already getting a ton of use there's people in the pool very very regularly there's people sitting and relaxing up in the gazebo very very regularly this area is a real winner needs some grass but we now do have a lot of the plants in. So 
once the grass is in, I think that'll really finish this area off. We still need to have a path laid from this end of the bridge of the pool across to the house. And there'll be another one on the far side from that bridge round to the gazebo and also heading down to the pump room and bathroom. Something else I wanted to share was uh, during the course of this series of videos there's been a number of comments about why didn't we plaster or render the walls on the outside of the property. Simple. Money. Too expensive to do that. So instead of that, uh, at least on part of the walls so far, we have these, I believe they're a version of fig, which are clearly climbing plants. These plants probably have been here for, in, in these cases, about four months, maybe five. And they are really starting to take off. They were tiny when we put them in. Didn't come up even close to covering the bottom brick, the concrete hollow block in the wall. This one is probably the largest, but it is already approaching halfway up the wall. This is going to be a faster wall covering than I thought it would and it'll make the whole wall uh, significantly more attractive once this is done. It'll still be a long, long process, but these plants are growing incredibly quickly. Heading towards the back of the property, we have the greenhouse. Still needs quite a bit of work from me to clear all of the weeds that have grown up inside and then level the floor and then start to build the raised beds that we'll be using for all of the vegetables in here. And round to the left, the other critical feature of this garden, the compost sheds. Three bays, plus a little storage area. Pretty full with compost now, some of it very far from being uh, fully ready. Some of it is ready, and in fact there is more that I've already finished and removed round to the far end of the compost shed ready to be used. Here's the fish pond, which does have fish. It has been stocked. Uh, fish for eating. The water level is a little bit low now and it's going to get lower despite the fact that we have right now a tiny little bit of rain falling. This water level will need somehow topping up. We may need to get a pump uh, and pump more water into this at some point during the summer. And right at the back of the property, the chicken farm. Well, the cockerel farm, I suppose. This area will all get fenced off very soon because as soon as we get the gate on the front of the property, the security dogs will be allowed out at night. And unfortunately, one of those dogs has developed a bit of a taste for chicken. So we have to protect these guys so all of this area will get fenced off and that has to be done within the next two or three weeks. That's it, the update today. The estimate, the most recent estimate I've got from the engineer is that upstairs will be finished in about another five or six days. We're still waiting for the electricity connection to be made uh, and then the internet connection but we have now had the required visit from Municipal Hall to sign off on the property. There was a little bit of a battle about the wiring which will come in from the utility pole over on this wall. It's a little bit of a battle about whether that would be overground or underground. That battle is now, if I understand correctly, resolved. Downstairs. Can they get finished? After finishing everything upstairs, can they finish downstairs? I think the biggest barriers are likely to be from the outside contractors. Can we get the modular kitchen finished? Can we get all the glass that we require to be in? I think there's not a lot to be done in some of these other rooms downstairs. As long as we ignore the home theater room, which we just close the door and forget about for a while, Inside, I think there's a good chance. Of course, outside, lots and lots still to be done. We need the front gate, we need the driveway, 
we need a lot more painting still to be done on the outside. But I think we're close. Uh, electrical stuff still needs some work. All of the Ethernet connections need terminating uh, connections. But that shouldn't be a huge task. There's a lot of it, but it shouldn't be a huge task. What do you guys think? Can we be in in 13 days? Let me know in the comments.